hi everybody welcome to the channel uh, today I'm going to show you how I make um, my tomato sauce for my pizza um, I will be um, using tomato fresh tomato to make it so uh, we're gonna go ahead and tell you uh, give you the uh, the ingredients I have tomato sauce right here which I used two tomatoes and I grated them you can uh, you can uh, use your mixer and mix them you have to first to skin the tomato and then mix them or you can grate them in that way the skin comes off easily when you grate I will be using some fresh basil I have fresh basil right here um, I have already I cut it in pieces like about um, tablespoon or a tablespoon and a half it's it's really it's fresh it's really smells really nice and we'll uh, I have uh, garlic which we're going to use one piece only so and we're going to need paprika which is the sweet pepper and then uh, the hot the spicy one pepper flakes we're going to need salt olive oil of course and uh, we're going to need oregano dried oregano and dried basil so we're gonna go ahead I already have my and uh, if you have tomato paste if not that's fine I mean you don't have to use tomato paste just if you have it if not you just use it without I already have my my pen so I'm gonna add to it about two tablespoon of oil is olive oil let it warm up a little bit and then um, we're going to add to it garlic just for a couple seconds because we don't want it to burn so and then I'm gonna add the tomato tomato sauce You can put it on high for now because it's still um, the tomato is cold, so we don't want it. We want it to boil a little bit. Now we're going to add half teaspoon of sweet pepper. Like about a quarter teaspoon of salt. You don't want it to have to be salty. A little bit of pepper corn, just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of spice. If you like it, if not, you don't have to use it. I'm going to let it boil. As you see, the other thing is boiling, so I'm just gonna let it boil, and until the all almost all the the uh, the liquid in the tomato evaporates. I want to keep just the pulp, so um, I'm just gonna keep let it boil, and I will just stir it, and then until like almost uh, the liquid has evaporated. Okay, at this point, most of the liquid has evaporated. I'm just going to add a little bit of the tomato paste to it. Um, this is optional. 
So this is the reason why I'm adding the tomato uh, sauce, a uh, tomato paste, is for mostly for coloring, to give it more color. But you don't have to add any um, tomato paste to it. You can just leave it as is. So as I said, it is optional. At this point, I'm going to add my fresh basil. And uh, the dry basil, a little bit. I'm not going to use a lot because I already have the fresh basil. And about half teaspoon of oregano. Mix it all together. It smells really, really nice. The reason why I added to the end, I wanted to keep the, the smell and the taste of both fresh and dry oregano and basil. We're going to just leave it for to simmer for a, a, a minute or so. And I'm going to shut it and um, keep it for my pizza. There you go. 